Good morning, folks. It's Wednesday, September 14th. We're on top of Bald Mountain, Virginia. We slept in the Jeep last night. Here's the campsite, if you didn't see the last video. Pretty open, flat spot. If you didn't see the last video, stop what you're doing, turn this one off, go back, watch that one. There's a Bald Mountain Jeep Trail in Virginia. It's a pretty cool trail. There's some rock obstacles and some mud holes. It hadn't rained here much in a week or so, so the mud holes wasn't really that deep, but supposedly they can get. Man, that's hard to point. Pretty deep, like, but it wasn't that deep for me. Only a couple feet, maybe at the most. But here we are. I slept in the Jeep last night, which was probably not the best idea because it was kind of hard to sleep. But it was probably a good idea, kind of, because it's freezing out here. Where's King? We're at 3,640 elevation, 3,640 30, feet elevation on top of Bald Mountain, Virginia, which is kind of high for this side of the U.S. And it is cold as crap. Putting my stuff up and airing up the tires, my hands are hurting it's so cold but we aired up we're getting ready to head over to flagpole knob which is a little bit more north kind of off at interstate 81 in virginia stay tuned here tomorrow we're gonna do uh peter's mill run which is a jeep bad jeep badge of honor trail so go back and watch the last video if you didn't watch it first watch the one before that about how to find campsites Cause that's what I did to come here and then come back and watch this one and then stay tuned for the next one. All right, I'll see you. So Bald Mountain Jeep Trail comes out right up on the Blue Ridge Parkway here. Wow, look at that, across the street. There's always crazy views on the Blue Ridge Parkway. There's a little pull-off right here. We can check it out. Guess we dropped about 350 feet from where I was camping until here. It's really windy. those views all right this is this is an overlanding video I'm trying to be mostly a trail video like pulling knob, but dang those views are so good so i'm gonna throw in a couple views here i got about an hour drive to get the flagpole knob so just deal with it and stick around i guess we'll be at the trail here in a little while though Looks better in person, obviously. Never shows up good on camera, but or never the way it does in real life. Whatever. Here's Staunton, Virginia. Be careful on this water crossing, guys. Might be too deep. All that crazy water flow. Here's a large campsite right after that fake water crossing. No cell service out here. If I can remember, I'll try to mark down the campsites and show y'all where they're at up in here. Looks like 
looks like this could be a water crossing, but there's no water. So I guess the mud puddles out here are gonna be super easy today. Did I mention I really love going on trails, off-roading? It's freaking fun. Climbing up. We're about to hit 3,100 feet. Here's a flat spot on one of the switchbacks. I don't see any fire rings though. I guess if you had a truck or two with a rooftop tent, you're not gonna build any fires or whatever. Maybe you can stay there. Now we're technically on Stone Camp Forest Road. A little more like a trail now. This looks like that play area with a bunch of water and mud puddles. There's one, there's a bunch of stuff going on over there. Let's check it out. Should we go through that? Yeah, well, I might as well. Screw it. Let's see what we got. mud holes and stuff nothing looks very deep but we'll go through a few of them anyways
going going down here. About 10 degrees downhill right now. My brakes are still wet from those mud holes back there. I hear them squealing. Hopefully that showed up. It's pretty good terrain. I think I'm gonna turn around and go up it right there. So let's see how that looks. It's like a long uphill climb coming. I met this couple from Maryland. They had a white gladiator, Rubicon, a two inch lift, and 37s coming down that big rock area. I just kind of helped them just to make sure nothing was going crazy. I know it's hard to see when you're going, you know, you can't really see what's going on, especially going down something like that. But And then he helped me film going up the hill and over the rocks. So I appreciate that. Appreciate it. I didn't even think about filming y'all coming down until after you was already down so sorry about that you could have been youtube stars <laughs> it was really good meeting y'all appreciate the help thank you very much
Found a campsite here. Dang. Crazy views. You can see way out there. Wow, wish I had a drone now. Holy cow. So here's the campsite. Looks like you can come up that way. Or the way I did. Maybe right there too. Fit a couple people up in here. And back in there. Down there's the main trail. water coming up. Hey, y'all comment below. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what you drive. I think there's a lookout right here. Guess I'm about to climb up this big old rock here. Be a lot cooler if I had a drone. On this one, I might have to get out and spot myself a couple times. It's gonna take a minute. Might stay like that, maybe turn it.
Hey, look at that thing. Hmm. What is that? Anybody know? King's bed is sliding around on the back there. The, the, the wooden platform that I put back there sliding around on the very back under the wood. I had to put something under there. Hill climb going on here. Hey, it's a pretty cool trail so far. I like having some optional obstacles to do if you want to. to get some experience going over stuff and whatever see what you can do or not got to be careful you know if you're by yourself just spot yourself get out look at it like i was doing back there i think we're almost to meadow knob here i don't know what the best angle is here that's a pretty good size thing to get up there whatever that's called obstacle I could try it from right here. There's a campsite right there where that obstacle was. A big fire ring. It's not like the super flattest thing. It's a little bit of an angle. But if you had a rooftop tent, you could level your Jeep out with rocks and stuff. Here's that obstacle. So here's Meadow Knob, big huge flat area, two fire rings, one, two, got some views over here. And a drone, send it way up there. I'm just gonna take a little break here, let King stretch his legs out, sniff around, use the bathroom, make me a sandwich. Take a little lunch break here.
climbing up a hill. About 12, 13 degrees up a hill. There's a campsite that looked flat back there. I'm getting close to flagpole knob now. Just a little ways ahead of that last campsite I just mentioned is another campsite there. There's another campsite, trails right over there. Fire pit. Looks like another one right here. There's their trail. Okay, there's another fire ring. Kind of flat, grassy area. Looks like right after those campsites is flagpole knob up here. Looks like a fire ring right there. I don't know if I would stay just right there, but there's a fire ring right here in the middle. This would be the best spot for a daggone drone. Looks like crap when I zoom in. You can throw up a drone right here and go spin around. Reddish knob is a little bit further and it has a little better views, I think. We'll check it out. This spot's 4,430 feet elevation, which is higher than I was last night and it got cold last night so we gotta figure out where to camp here after we maybe check out reddish knob okay i don't think i want to camp up here on flagpole knob there's a bunch of grave sites there let's go check out reddish knob i think it has better views it looks like a little bit after a flagpole knob towards reddish knob kind of turns back into more of a dirt slash gravel road. There was a campsite back there. Somebody was there, had nice views and cell signal. Here's the coordinates. It looks like there's one right here too, maybe. There's a bunch of wood, I guess. This one's got a creepy vibe. <laughs> it was back in there off the road, around the corner. If you wanted to come up here and didn't want to do all the more rocky technical stuff. You just come up from the other side. Don't come up from Union Springs Road 
like I did. You can also come in from Switzer Lake and Dunkel Hollow Road. somebody's coming down while I'm coming up because it's not very wide. Nobody's up here. That works for me. 360 degree view. If you don't want to do all that off-roading like I did, come up a different way like I said and you can check out these crazy views hold on wonder how far that is those peaks those mountain ranges out there that's gotta be far there's nobody out here everybody's gotta draw on the road i guess I guess there's kind of a fire ring up here. Looks like people have been using it. I ain't trying to stay up here. Be crazy cold and windy probably. On the way to check this campsite out over here, see what it's like, see if it's got service. Well, there was two campsites on this paved road, but one of them, they were both kind of small and weird, but one of them had two dead trees that were, I would have to be sleeping under, I guess, to look like. So it's kind of dangerous, maybe. And the other one, the cell signal cut off right there in that spot. And then as soon as I left, it turned back on. So I don't want to go back up into Flagpole Knob and back down in that trail and stuff to get a spot. So I'm going to try to look for a couple other ones that I found on iOverlander. If you watched my two videos ago on how to find campsites using that app. Got a couple marked out, so I'm gonna go check those out here. Well, it's about 5.30 p.m. Found this site. There's no cell service, so that sucks, but it's gonna have to work. There's a stream back here, except it's dry. There's no water. Zero water. Huh. Completely dried up. Not too bad. You can fit several people in here if you wanted to. Make a few hot dogs. And then I'm going to put the chili in the same thing. So I don't have to clean one pan here. Alright folks, I'm getting ready to eat here. Some hot dogs. King's eating his. I forgot his dog bowl. Told you that on the last video if you didn't watch it already. Appreciate you watching. Quick like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. More people's on Instagram than Facebook, but either one. And check us out on shopoverlanderpro.com. Appreciate the Patreon channel sponsors. Appreciate the YouTube membership. YouTube channel members, whatever. I never can say that properly. So tomorrow when we wake up, we're running over to Peter's Mill Run and it's a Jeep Badge of Honor trail. So check that video out. It's gonna be a week later. It's gonna be one of the easier trails from Bald Mountain yesterday, Flagpole Paul or Flagpole Knob today, and then Peter's Mill Run tomorrow. It's gonna be the easier one, even though it's a Jeep Badge of Honor trail. So 
it's good just for a beginner trail to go out there and get your badge you got to check in with the app the jeep badge of honor app i'm gonna burn my hot dogs here so i'm gonna eat chill do some editing on the iMovie save some stuff to my hard drive on the computer because it's hard to do three videos all at the same time and not run out of storage on your phone so i appreciate y'all have a good one gourmet hot dogs a whole can of chili four hot dogs some bread and cheese and mustard